Hello guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Today we're going to show you a common problem on a Chrysler PD Cruiser. While you're driving it, sometimes you experience where all the lights will come on or they'll go off and you lose the speedometer, which means that you don't have power supply to the, to the instrument cluster. And that's a common thing on a Chrysler PD Cruiser. And many people spend a lot of time and resources trying to figure this one out. Electrical problems are the ones that are really tough to solve. So right here, first we will need to remove that plastic cover under the steering wheel. And right there, there is one screw with a T20 screwdriver. And two more, one here and one right there with a Phillips screwdriver. Okay, you can see, in most of the times, there is wires that go from the ignition and they contact the metal plate right here and sometimes they get pinched or they get uh, peeled and that makes it lose ground pretty much to shorten it or sometimes it's the wires that goes inside the ignition switch so we'll see what's the case with this one exactly very seldom it will be the ignition switch which will mean that you need to replace the ignition switch but in our case that's like one out of ten vehicles that we did so far so we'll see now if we can save this one okay right there and now what you need to do you need to pull the top plastic like that, you move the steering wheel down a little bit, you move the top plastic and now you pull the bottom plastic out of there. The thing about it is like it goes in the ignition switch so you need to jump it to go over it and then you need to go with the steering wheel all the way up and now through right here. So okay, this one is right there. Okay, so now right here, those are the wires that we're talking about. That's coming from the ignition switch right there. And there is a metal plate underneath it and sometimes they contact that metal plate and they go bad and sometimes it's just a loose wire in the plug right there. So in order to do that, we'll need to remove it. And I advise you to remove the battery, unhook the battery first because we might cause some damage if we touch two wires at the same time so always unhook the battery before you remove the wires okay we unhooked the battery and we want to wait for about 15 minutes because you're very close to the airbag here and the wires for the airbag so we don't want to take any chances and now in order to remove the plug right there you need to get a flathead screwdriver and that red thing is the one preventing it from getting loose so you need to push to the outside like that and now you push on the downside there is a thing that you push in I'll show you in a second okay this one right there you push in and you pull so those are the wires right here and as you can see this one is just loose wire right there too loose so that's the problem with this one we just leave a screwdriver over a knife we're going to make them a little bit tighter and that will fix the problem for this one okay with a little knife you need to get there that thing is hard to explain but you need to just make them come close to each other but not too close because the metal piece need to contact with them to get inside it right there to make the wires tight so we will not have any play because when you have play that's when it loses ground and you lose all the lights and that's the dashboard the instrument cluster do not work so what you need to do now just go ahead push it in install it and after that put the safety red log on it okay you're going to hear it click and push Okay, we put it back together as you can see. We test drove it and we do not have any problems with it right now. We moved even the wires. You can check like when you get the steering wheel in upper position when it does that. When you lose power, you can move the wires here a little bit and see if that will fix it. So you can see if the problem is right there. So in our case, it was just a loose wire going to the ignition switch. Thank you guys for watching us, if you have any questions let us know, please don't forget to give us a like and subscribe for about 5 new videos every week.